Deathblade here. Today I'm going to be talking about the difference between official translations and fan translations and which one is better. Now what I want to do is I don't want to bury the lead. I'm going to give you my opinion right from the beginning and then I'm going to go into a bunch of different clarifications. My opinion is, number one, it doesn't really matter if a translation is official or not. That shouldn't really be a huge bearing on whether or not you decide to read it. Now I'm not getting into issues of legality or licensing here because sometimes there are going to be official translations and then other people are going to translate something on their own as a fan translation and then both can exist and one is official, one's not. I'm not talking about situations in which there is an official license version already in existence or that has come into existence and whether that should be compared to the fan translation. What I'm simply talking about are situations in which the only translation that you can find is a fan translation. If there's only a fan translation, I have heard some people basically say, oh, well, then, you know, that's not an official translation, so I'm not going to read it. I think that's complete bunk. I think that a lot of people who are fans of translated content, whether that's Chinese or otherwise, know that especially early on when industries are beginning, a lot of times it is only the fan translations that are present and those, that is the only thing you can find in terms of content. The reason why I say I don't think it matters if something is an official translation or a fan translation is because the difference between those two oftentimes has nothing to do with the actual translator and it just has to do with the license. How could something become an official translation? Well, there are a few different ways. For instance, the person that owns the rights to this content, they could go out to find a translator and hire that person directly to translate it and then check all the content to make sure it's appropriate. It's possible they could hire a translation house who would then go out and hire translators to do it. There may or may not be some level of editing or oversight. On the other hand, it could be a situation where somebody does the translation as a fan and then later that translation becomes the official licensed translation. Now, because of how many different ways this can happen, that is basically why I say I think it's meaningless whether something is official or fan translation. One perfect example is the translation of the classic Wuxia novel, Eleventh Son, which essentially started out as a fan translation, then eventually turned out to be licensed and then published as an actual official translation. But in the beginning, it was a fan translation. Also, a lot of the stuff on Wuxia World right now, for example, my main projects, uh, I Shall Sell the Heavens and A Will Eternal, both started out as fan translations, but now they are officially licensed and they are the official licensed translation. Is there any difference between them because they became licensed? There is not. And that's why I say in a situation where there is no official translation, the fact that there is a translation that is not official doesn't really have anything to do with anything. Now, obviously there is going to be a big difference usually with an official translation, and that's going to be that there is some sort of oversight, some sort of editing, some sort of official process that will hopefully ensure that it's uh, good English and that it's a good translation, but that's not necessarily true. Take webnovel.com. They have a bunch of novels that they own the rights to that are complete and utter trash, sometimes even machine translated, that they say are their official translations. Obviously, the fact that it's an official translation doesn't really have any bearing at all on the quality, per se. Another official translation are the uh, Condor Hero books, which are fairly popular, and to be honest, I think in terms of the English, overall, they're very, very good. One of the big problems with them, which I talked about in a video here, has to do with their choice of naming conventions, which there basically isn't a convention. It's very random and it's not accurate at all. However, it was similar with The Deer and the Cauldron Translation, which is another classic Wuxia novel by the same author. I am a real big fan of that Deer and the Cauldron Translation, probably because I read it before I knew anything about Chinese. If I read it later, knowing about Chinese, knowing how the genre works, I'm not sure my feelings would be the same, and I haven't read it for many, many years, and the last time I read it was again before I started studying Chinese. Sorry, went back to the Condor Heroes Translation. In addition to the problem with the names, there are other things with that translation that I take issue with. For example, there's a, an entry in the glossary, which it's basically information that is obviously taken directly from Wikipedia, except there is no attribution, they don't cite a reference, and it's wrong. It's completely wrong, and there's fake, false information in Condor Heroes, and the only thing that makes sense is that it would come from Wikipedia. Okay, I don't have exact proof, but basically this thing, if you do a Google search for it, the first thing that comes up is the Wikipedia entry, and the information in that Condor Heroes book is the same entry from Wikipedia. It's not worded exactly the same, but the general idea is the same, and there's no reference for that. Do even five minutes of research in Chinese, and you will find that the information on in Wikipedia is incorrect. Like it or not, that's the fact. I have found this a lot of, in a lot of situations. The information on Wikipedia about stuff from other languages and cultures 
many times is just plain wrong. It'll be someone's opinion, it'll be something that a random person read in an article or something, no references, and it'll be wrong, and then people use that as the basis for fact in the footnotes or in the explanation for a translation. Sadly, it just, that's the way it is. And instantly, it's not like I hate Wikipedia, I use Wikipedia a lot. In my translations, I usually do reference the Wikipedia article. That said, I try to take the time to do at least a little bit of extra search in Chinese to make sure that what I'm getting from Wikipedia is also correct. So, in the end, my point with this video is that when there are translations of certain things and you can only find the fan translation, that shouldn't be your reason to not read it. You shouldn't be like, is this an official translation? No? Well, I'm not going to read it. There are actually a lot of novels out there that are translated that are not official, that are not licensed, that are great translations. So what should be your guide as to whether or not to read something, whether or not it's official or fan translation? I would say your perception of the quality of translation is probably one of the most important things. If you read it and you can understand it and you think it's well written enough that you can enjoy it, then read it. Doesn't matter if it's a fan translation or not. Now, obviously, you can't discern the accuracy of the translation based on just reading it, but that's the same with an official translation as well. You have no idea how accurate any given official translation is just because it's called an official translation. Did the official translation, whoever hired the translator, did they translation check? In other words, did they hire another person to then double check all the translation to make sure that it was correct? If it's a very large body of work, the likelihood is that they are not going to have done that. So for all you know, there are mistakes in the translation. There are a million factors that can play into it, but it just saddens me when I see people judging fan translations just because they're not official. Okay, fair disclaimer here, I obviously am biased because I started out doing all fan translations, but that said, now my fan translations have been turned into official translations, at least some of them have. I still have some other translations, same author, by the way, as that 11th Son author. I have a three fully translated novels that are not official, they are not licensed, and I don't really know how to make that happen. Based on the information I have, that author's works were all purchased by some major media company, and there has been radio silence from anybody or everybody about what that company is planning to do with those licenses. If they approached me wanting to acquire my translation, I would be more than happy to talk with them, because I would love for my fan translations to become official translations for those wuxia novels. And there are a lot of translators out there who have translated entire wuxia novels as fan translations who I'm sure would love to have an editor go through their work, clean it up, and then have it put out as an official translation. So that's it for this video. Now I'd like to hear your opinion. As people who read a lot of novels, what do you think about fan and official translations? And again, I'm not talking about licensing issues. I'm not talking about machine translation. I'm not talking about what happens when there is an existing official translation and then somebody else is translating it as a fan translation either before or after the official one starts. There's a lot of drama and a lot of bad blood because of situations like that in the past and there's a lot of people that get very emotionally involved in one translation or another. So again, I'm not talking about that. I am just talking about fan translations that exist alone. So again, sorry, what do you think? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? If you disagree, please leave a comment below and I'm going to block you from my channel. No, I'm just kidding. If you disagree with me, please feel free to leave a comment below. If you agree, leave a comment. If you have different insights or thoughts or experiences, I would love to hear about it. That's it for this video. If you like this kind of content, please do like and subscribe. Please share. I would love for you to share this video on a forum or whatever to bring up some more discussion in different places for people to talk about this kind of thing. I know the subject is talked about um, in the past and online before, but this is my take. That's it for this video. I'll see you next time. Godzilla.